Hi, I'm Chris from Discovery Learning, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fire Mods for Articulate Rise 360 to set up a custom reflection exercise block that allows the user to type out their thoughts and save these in order to have them appear at any moment later in the course. Here in my Rise demo project, I'm going to set up my reflection block to be visible to the user on page one. And then I'm going to use a custom short code in order to display whatever the user had typed into the box over on page two. To set up the custom block, you just need to add a note block onto the page, which you can find in the statements block menu right at the bottom of the list. Now we need to write some very specific content into the note block, which the FireMod script is going to use to convert this into a custom reflection block for us. And by the way, you can find this full text to copy and paste as comments in the FireMod script itself. First, we need to type reflection ID equals open and close double quotes in all caps. And within the open and close double quotes here, you can write any ID value you like. For example, reflect 01. Next, we need to type title equals open and close double quotes, again in all caps. This time within the open and close double quotes, we can provide the heading title of the reflection block. So for example, you could use this to provide the challenge or question that you want to set for the learner. So I'll type, what do you think a rise reflection box could bring to your course. And lastly, we need to also type instruction equals open and close double quotes, again in all caps. This time within the open and close double quotes, we can write anything to be displayed below the heading, but above the text box itself. So like a set of instructions for the learner on what to do. I'll type use the box to write your thoughts about this type of interaction and then click on the save my answer button. Okay, we've now finished the steps needed in Rise in order to set up our reflection block. Let's now set up our short code later on in the course in order to show the user what they had typed into that box. We can add our short code to any Rise block that includes text. So I'm going to use a paragraph with subheading block right here. And to display the user's typed answer, I just need to write the ID value that I set for the block in open and close square brackets. And that's it. And just as I mentioned, if I want to put this shortcode into any other interaction block, for example, this uh, process block, then you can also do that as well. Right, let's now publish the course, connect our FireMod script to the index.html file and customize as needed. First of all, you'll find the enable custom reflection block section right here. Let's enable reflection blocks by changing this value to true. And then it's up to you whether you want to center align all elements within the reflection block, as well as the save button corner radius, and also the text shown in the save button itself. And lastly, just below that section, we have the ability to display reflection block entries using the shortcode. So let's turn this on by changing this value to true. And if you want to update the default text shown to learners, if they didn't actually type anything into the box, then you can change that here. This is a good way of reminding learners of the actions that they were expected to take earlier in the course, but they can still go back and write in the reflection box if they would like to do so. And this will dynamically update in the shortcode area mid session. Okay, we're all set here, so let's save the script file and preview the project in the browser. And here now is my reflection block, which I can type an answer into and save. And as long as I'm revisiting this activity in the same browser, then the answer will remain in place if the user returns back to the course later. And over on page two, you can see that what I've typed into the box is being displayed once more as a reminder to the user of what they wrote before proceeding with the rest of the learning activity. So a good opportunity to review whether their thoughts or comments have in some way changed as a result. Discover more about FireMods and everything else we have to offer for articulate developers over at discoverelearning.com.